Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My name is Julia Aurelia and I'm here to do your reading for mid-March. So this is a reading that is valid for the next four to six weeks. So until mid-April or the end of April. I'm using the Kipper cards. This is the deck I'm using and I'm going into a very special method this time. A little bit different to what I did last time with the, uh, with the tarot. Uh, we're going to use the tarot later as well, but basically we're going to use the Kipper cards as the main energies, clarify with the Lenormand and then go into the cards again with another energy from the tarot. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next four to six weeks high honor okay this is a success card Pisces please someone and the main male uh, that could be your energy or the energy of your main male person in your life uh, it could also mean taking action on something There is something where there is going to be made a decision and I feel like there's someone who wants in some sort of form take away from the success we see here. Uh, if this is your partner uh, or if this is you, I feel like I feel like there might be some sort of legal situations or a decision. Um, there might be some sort of conflict where someone tries to take away from this success energy here. One more card, please. Ah, no, that was too much. One more card for the collective for Pisces. And again, okay, well, then let's put those two together. Uh, we see courtship and a gift. I do feel um, the courtship always talks also about a meeting, being social, and there's some sort of gift. So maybe there is a person who wants to take in some shape or form away from you and the success that is here or from your partner's success. Uh, but then at the same time, I also feel like there's a lot of appreciation, a lot of um, success, maybe through another meeting here, or that could, yeah, well, courtship could, well, the courtship could talk about an engagement. So maybe there is a surprise coming in, like a surprising offer, a surprising engagement, a surprising working together on something. Let's clarify the high honor. Okay. Yes, and also the lilies here. So the dog and the lilies. Um, the dog stand for loyalty loyalty and also with the lilies it is also a very honorable card because the lilies can stand for a very high rank in society uh, there might be someone who's very loyal to you and who is helping you who has a very high rank here um, i do feel like there's some sort of support coming in um, some sort of support that will bring into your life more peace and harmony and this is connected to some sort of success here. What are the energies of the main male? There is success again. Uh, the key is always success or a solution. Can I get another energy for the main male? And the uh, energy of the um, mountain. I just remember the reading that I did before you was uh, Aquarius because I'm working from like Capricorn up to uh, Sagittarius in that order. Maybe you have um, specific aspects as well in Aquarius. If so, check out the Aquarius reading because just now the Aquarius card had also the main male person and uh, there was also a lot of success coming in for Aquarius. Uh, maybe you are Aquarius and um, you're looking this reading up for your love interest or your partner um, but there is some sort of challenge or blockage um, i do see that this is co probably connected to the situation here so let's have a look what's the uh yeah 
that might be part of some sort of karmic situation. There is a burden. And it might come from someone who is further away from something that is uh, in a foreign country or where there's some sort of distance. So some sort of decision is being made here. Um, it might have to do with responsibilities, with things not being um, so easy. Uh, a decision, uh, it feels like a decision is going to be made here. Um, and I feel like it has to do with someone who is further away. So someone from the outside, from a foreign country, someone from uh, a place like not just around the corner here uh, where there's some sort of decision that needs to be made. Let's uh, clarify this thief. No, wait, that was too much. So someone wants to take away. Uh, and same energy, the mice is also the thief energy. So I would be a little bit mindful at the moment of people um, who are not in your immediate environment, I'd say, unless the, the house comes now, then that's always also the immediate environment. I feel like there's someone maybe who's watching you, observing you, or seeing that there's some sort of success with you, with your partner or with the both of you, and is trying to kind of like take away from that or wants something from it. That could be as well. Maybe someone wants to have uh, a part of your success and maybe uh, that could all be um, go through some sort of legal situation here so that there is a decision being made. Um, I do feel like you're going to get support here. Definitely there is support. Uh, I feel like um, there is also a solution to this blockage. So let's have a look. Can we get another energy for the thief please? Please. Oh, look at that. And the house, like I said. I would say be mindful who you let into your inner circle here. Because it seems like it could take away from your stability or from something that is very close to you, that is important to you. We're going to see more about it when I pull the cards with the uh, tarot. Let's go into the gift and the courtship. I just take, uh, pulled two cards for these two. Can I get another energy, please? For gift and courtship. Oh. Yeah. There could be something that is related to your love relationship, to a friendship, or someone who really uh, means well. Uh, something that's very dear to your heart. I feel like there's something as well that you can trust. Um, can I get another energy, please? For the gift and the courtship. What is the gift and courtship about? What's the gift and courtship about? It's about love, friendship. And you should really look at, um, yeah, you should definitely look at Aquarius because um, same card at the end, uh, the gift, um, there's something very similar going on here. So it might be that there is a couple helping you, uh, giving you something. Uh, it might be related to a phone call coming in or a message coming in that is causing some excitement here. Uh, so I do feel like even if I would say with this energy, yes, there are some blockages, there are some, some challenges, they might be karmic. Uh, be a bit mindful of who you let into your life and your inner circle. Uh, maybe it's better to have some people a little bit on to, uh, of a distance. Um, you're going to have some help here. And also at the end, we do see there is a gift coming in, something very, very beautiful here. But yeah, just be a bit mindful because I feel like someone wants to take away from you. Uh, so Sorry guys, I'm gonna focus now. Uh, can we get another card for high honor, please? Can we get another card for high honor, please? And the page of cups. It's your visions, your dreams. It's like, it might be an offer coming in with a page of cups, something that has a big potential to really make you happy and fulfill you. Someone offering help, someone offering uh, mature advice, someone um, offering here something that uh, brings some peace, balance and harmony into your life or some sort of knowledge um, related to something that makes you very happy here. 
Um, it could also talk about with a page of cops like your visions and your dreams um, and that you're going to achieve success here related to something that you dreamed of um, that could refer to a love relationship. So maybe a love relationship, something that you really hoped and wished for um, is going to be successful here. Let's see what the energy of the main male is. And the main male as well could mean you're taking action on something, finding solutions to some issues that arise. And another page, uh, practical planning, because we have the page of pentacles here. So what is now important for you to get over the energy of challenge or blockages is to really practically think uh, what's now the best thing to do. Um, it's a step-by-step -step thing. Don't jump over steps. Don't go too fast. Really think something through. What is the practical, logical thing to do now? Again, this both could talk about some sort of offer coming in here, maybe some sort of help coming in as well. And it's about uh, taking the first steps now. Uh, like I said, this could be about taking action, taking the first steps, having a solution for this issue that is here, which seems to be a very, um, the, the, uh, the, the, the mountain and the cross, it's a very heavy energy. So, and maybe an outside influence needs to help here as well. So can I get another energy for the adjudication? Can I please get another energy here? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is someone who's very supportive here. And I do see this as the energy of someone who, who comes in as a support. But this is also about being independent, knowing who you are, um, being, um, knowing your worth, being very confident, also being independent. So it might be that it's very important to stay positive, stay optimistic and uh, know your worth and stay uh, confident is the key to success. Let me get the energy of the thief. What's a thief about? Someone taking away something you have built up. Um, okay, there's a moment of truth. I'm go I feel like there's someone in your environment, may it be like in your immediate environment or someone who's further away, who doesn't mean well. And you're going to see the truth of the situation. You're going to see, expose the person for uh, who he or she is. And that might um, then relate to some sort of decision that is going to be made. And let me get the energy of the gift and the courtship. It might literally be, if you are not in a relationship and this talks about one thing, then we could have another energy here. Maybe someone, someone coming towards you and this is like a flirt, someone wanting to get to know you because that's a courtship energy, right? I said earlier, it could be a couple giving you something. You, well, also, this is a couple energy as well. Uh, but the couple could literally also mean you and your partner or you and your love interest or someone coming in offering you love. The gift could be love. The gift could be um, love and excitement because there might be a new person coming in for you. Wanting to offer you these things. Or this is with your existing partner, depending on in what uh, relation you are. Could we please get another energy for the gift and the courtship? Yes, time to ce there's celebration time. So there's something really to celebrate related to your love life or something that is dear to your heart. It might even be that this is an engagement happening here, especially since at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Cups. So yes, one aspect of your reading is that there might be something very exciting, a gift, a surprise that is time uh, that is. Um, connected to your love life. Uh, it might be a wedding, an engagement or something really beautiful where um, there's really a lot to celebrate as well. Um, like I said, there is someone in your environment that wants to take away. You're going to see the truth of it. Stay in your power, um, stay optimistic and with something here related to some sort of blockages, what's now really important is to plan practical uh, and to really 
think what the logical next steps are and I feel like there's definitely some sort of success coming in and also help for you uh, when it comes to this success. I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.